Great Nima, dear traders, and you're watching the daily market review with me, financial analyst of Grand Capital Company, Sergey Lim. And our daily heading is dedicated as traditional to the technical notes of Forex majors. And let's see what I have here for today. Let's open the graphs. Oof. What I have here. News, 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 news. Okay. Well, let's start as traditional from the first pair. It will be euro and US dollar graph. Okay. One moment, please. Okay. Intraday analysis of euro and US dollar. The setback from Thursday's high at 1.3213 is on the course to test support at 1.3145. A trading range uh, between 1.3145 uh, and last week's market profile sign single print, uh, single print resistance at 1.3216 is then expected to follow. Although an eventual downside resolution below 1.3145 uh, is favored in the commission session, in the coming sessions. Loss of 1.3102 would bring the focus back onto 1.3054 and this week's reaction low at 1.3033. Only sustained break above 1.3216 would put euro bulls in control opening 1.3298. Weekly chart of euro and US dollar trend is bearish. Intraday analysis of US dollar and Japanese yen. Um, Friday's Asian probe above uh, 81.13 uh, creates room for more gains towards uh, 31. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Friday's uh, towards uh, 81.30. The recovery of uh, when they slow at 80.56 is looking for impetus to force to force a break through the solid 81.20 and 81.30 resistant area. In order to prompt further gains towards 81.83, a setback below Thursday slow at 80.74 would negate the US dollar bull threat, exposing the weak slow at 80.56. Weekly chart of euro of US dollar and Japanese yen trend is bearish. Intraday analysis of uh, next analysis. Intraday analysis of Great Britain pounds and US dollar. The push above 1.5931 brings uh, the 1.6000 level back into the immediate picture again. Resistance at 1.6015 is important barrier to break through, though. In order, in order to reopen the April 2nd reaction high at 1.6062, support at 1.5880 has become pivotal for the near term, which is protected by 1.5920. Weekly chart of Great Britain Pound and US dollar trend is range. Next pair, intraday analysis of US dollar and Swiss franc. Resistance at 0 0.9150 and 56 will look to cap the recovery of Thursday's uh, 0 0.9091 low. The pace of the short term decline from the April 5th, uh, 5th reaction high at 0 0.9222 uh, is looking to increase. And the retest of the 0 0.9091 low would threaten further weakness to the April 2nd reaction low at 0 0.9002. A sustained break above uh, 0 0.9156 uh, is required to question the US dollar bearish outlook, opening 0 0.9195. Weekly chart of US dollar and Swiss franc trend and uh, is uh, bullish. Next pair, intraday analysis of Australian dollar and US dollar. Let's open the graphs and what I have here. Oof. Okay. Uh, so, one moment, please, the traders.
I'm sorry for delay, my dear traders. Uh, it was some technical problems. Uh, oh, I see. Now I see. Uh, the April 3rd lower high at 1.0465 is being challenged. Following this week's strong recovery of 1.0226. Um, a push above 1.0465 is the main threat. Uh, creating room for further gains towards the March 27 lower high at 1.0560 and consigning the 1.0226 low to bear failure status. Weakness will attract support while above 1.0330 and only moves below 1.0291 would question the Australian dollar bullish outlook. Weekly chart of Australian dollar and US dollar trend is bearish. Uh, that's all my dear traders for today. It was me, Financial Analyst of Grand Capital Company, Sergey Lin. For more additional uh, analytic information, you can visit our website www.grandcapital.net. I wish you the fair trends and spend uh, brightful weekends. Goodbye.